Um, welcome, welcome, my loves. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the Daily Vibration. Happy Tuesday to you. So happy Mars Day to you, right? So we are doing the Daily Vibration for today, Tuesday, January 26th. 2021 all right so we are vibrating on the number nine for the month we are vibrating on the number eight for the date and we are vibrating number five for the year and tuesday itself is also vibrating on the number five all right so before we jump into the breakdown of today i just want to give you a few announcements all right so i'm doing the kabbalion lecture okay mental and emotional um chess okay and how you can master the energy using the seven hermetic principles within the kabbalion that is coming up this wednesday at 3 p.m okay Okay. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and you can make your donation via Cash App or um, PayPal, all right? If you're following me via Instagram, that message will be in the caption section. And if you're on YouTube, you can find that in, um, you can find my PayPal and Cash App information <clears throat> in the description box. That's a $30 donation, guys, okay? Now, I also want to say a major shout, shout out to Kim Warner at Interfate Wealth Builders. She has donated... Um, um, free sessions for nine people. Okay. Um, so nine people can get an intuitive reading and coaching session with me. All right. So I'll circle back on how you can go ahead and submit that. All right. Not to mention y'all, if you were part of the Patreon community and you missed the live comic readings on the 23rd, we're going to be back again, February 23rd. So you guys can look out for that at 2 PM. All right. Um, I am possibly going to put the full moon meditation on the calendar. I don't know. I feel like I was a week behind. I feel like I've, I don't know. I feel like time is off for me. So um, just so you know, I don't know why I, I had on my mind and was about to add it to calendar that I was going to do the full moon meditation next Monday. It should have been this Monday. So I might do it um, on... Uh, I might do it on the 29th. So if you, um, I'll, I'll know by tomorrow if we're going to do the full moon meditation on the 29th. So which would mean that you would do your ritual on the 28th, your own personal ritual. And we will do um, the meditation um, in the shadow energy on the 29th. Okay. Um, which is actually equal in the number 11, which is also a powerful number within itself. But I digress. Okay. Uh, now, those are the announcements. I've think i am pretty good and if any of you are following um um on clubhouse uh and you were not there yesterday for the chat we are thinking about doing something private in like a lot group because there was some mysteries that was coming out so yeah yeah i might want to get in on that if you're on clubhouse all right so Huh, let's see what's going on here y'all the moon is in cancer still so you're gonna have a lot of emotions in the air and the sun is in aquarius so people are going to want their independence and their freedom okay so you want to be mindful of that lots of emotions in the air a lot of people wanted to just be who they are not really be um a lot of rebellious energy you know not really be who you want me to be but i am who i am type energy okay so you got like i said the feeling energy of that cancerian energy and the aquarian energy with the uranus energy like ah yeah um, I'm my own individual, okay? And that's just what's up within that energy today, all right? So if you were tapping into any of the chakra energy and you want to do some work, um, you do want to tap into your solar plexus energy that does vibrate with the Mars energy. And today is Tuesday and it is ruled by Mars. So you can do some solar plexus work within this Mars energy, right? Now, <clears throat> let me just say this also, you know, Mars has a lot to do with action movement and it's a good planet of war but it's also the planet of protection and when you're dealing with energy from your um your, your solar plexus you're dealing with energy that is your ego or your versus your will your personal power and this can also be where a lot of anger um lies so this is why you would want to definitely do some work with this mars energy in the atmosphere if you have any problems in your um solar plexus okay now jumping into the number nine because january is vibrating on the number nine uh we're going to tap into the universal spiritual laws within the number nine we do know the number nine is all about completion right so we know that right we know the number nine is all about completion we know that we know also oops, sorry y'all i'm trying to make sure that i think i did put it on do not disturb <clears throat> so we know the number nine is all about completion um we also know that universal spiritual laws also vibrates on the number nine um so today's going to be a day about getting things done or not it just depending on what end of the spectrum you're going to be because the flip side of completing things today is being unable 
to get things done. You're just not able to get things done today, all right? Now, today, also vibrating within the number nine, you have strength of character. So the flip side of um, strength of character is going to be lack of integrity. So some of you are going to be walking with um, integrity. Some of you are going to be walking with no integrity. People are going to be strengthening their character and how they want to be seen in the world. And you're going to have some people that what they say and who they are and mm, is not, mm, yeah, okay? So be mindful of that as you're moving throughout the day. Um, what they say in front of your, of your face may not necessarily be the type of person that they are, okay? I should have taken it. Oh, no, yeah, I'm, I feel like I got something in my nose. Um, I've been having um, allergy, like allergic reaction. And Kelly was just telling me the other day that I may have to change my detergent, y'all. And I put a lot of like the scent booster pads, you know. I probably put more than they say. If they say put one, I'm putting two. Um, so I'm going to have to chill on my, my, um, my smell goods, my scent boost, right? Mm. Because it's, yeah, it's starting to irritate my skin, sensitive skin. Um, So, yeah, strength of character versus lack of integrities in the atmosphere with the number nine today. Um, also within the number nine, self-love versus self-sabotage. Which end of the spectrum are you working with today, right? So you can operate in self-love and trust and do what you need to do for self today. Or you can do um, some self-sabotage, uh, self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Your choice. Uh, forgiveness uh, versus unforgiveness is in the atmosphere today, right? Um, your choice also. Keeping in mind that forgiveness has nothing to do with anyone getting away with anything. Forgiveness has to do with you being able to release so you can move forward, okay? <clears throat> now, number eight today is the date, okay? So the 26 reduces down to the number eight, which is all about new beginnings. Number eight vibrates on new beginnings, okay? Um <clears throat> And number eight is also one of the numbers within the um, within the uh, metaphysical aspect, right? The number eight is a number that's most act, one of the most active spiritual number. That's also a number that falls within the spiritual or the soul plane, right? So that's the spiritual or the feeling plane, also when it comes to numerology, right? Um, now I, I gotta say this, right? This is also um, one of the numbers that vibrates on the highest self aspects. Okay, this number is filled with wisdom, um, especially being able to express this wisdom in, intuitively and with love. Okay, uh, it really talks about being able to bring your own independence um, into flourishing. All right, so new beginnings number eight, um, tapping into your personal power or dealing with your insecurities today, or not dealing with your insecurities. So it really depends on you, the individual. You can tap into your um, personal power um, and tap into your um, insecurities and do some shadow work. Or you can choose not to do the shadow work and just live with your insecurities. Your choice, okay? Um, today, for some of you, money is going to be the order of the day or lack thereof if you're on the flip side of that. So you're going to have to be mindful of that energy. What is your relationship with money? Do you like money? Do you love money? Do you hate money? Are you at an indifference for money? What is your thinking, your thought process about how you feel about money? So you want to take a look at that as you're moving throughout the energy today, okay? Um, inner wisdom, okay, as well as um, being able to know when to speak and when not to speak is going to be key for some of you today. Um, so the, the flip side of operating with inner wisdom is really being um, reactionary based, where you're not thinking, you're just jumping in emotions and not allowing you to think before you react, okay? Um, so last but not least, we do have the number five, which is the vibration of the year and the vibration of Tuesday, right? Uh, so number five is all about uh, choices and change, right? Definitely change. That's the one constant thing that's promised to us in this lifetime is change. So number five vibrates on change. Today, some of you will have to tap into your telepathical aspect of yourself, right? The flip side to not tapping into that intuitive part of yourself is to not trust in yourself, to not trust in your intuition. So that's always in the atmosphere, right? Courage versus this fearful energy is also in the atmosphere. Remember, everything is a polarity, up, down, in, out. So you can have courage versus fear. Which one of the spectrums are you going to be operating with today? That is the question, right? So you also have sympathy and understanding versus rigid emotions. Yeah, so you're going to have people today that don't got any sympathy, right? Um, that are very rigid in emotions. And if you're expecting, you know, um, an I'm sorry, or you're expecting any type of support from um, certain people today, you're not going to be able to get that, right? But at the end of the day, the message for today is simple. 
I am the master of myself. So anything that you are looking for outside of yourself today, you don't need it. You don't need it. You are the master of self today. Remember, universal and spiritual laws are in effect today, right? Also remember, I want to say today there's really no um, there's really no physical um, energy going on as far as the numbers today. You have more um, spiritual energy with, with the eight and the five, and then you got um, more of the mental um, energy and thinking plane energy with the number nine. So today there could be a lot of um, emotional energy in the, the atmosphere, or you have to tap into your intuition. Okay, um, not so much your logical side today. I'm sorry, not not so much the physical side today, what you can see, not your five senses. Okay, um, but you're gonna have to balance that masculine and feminine side of you today. Your logical aspect, your thinking aspect, with your feeling aspect. Okay, and then allow that feeling aspect um, and that logical thinking aspect to press out into the physical plane today. All right, all right. So. Let's jump into this. We're going to do the four elements. We're going to start off with the wonderful Aquarian um, energy, Gemini energy, and Libra energy because we are dealing with um, air energy, okay? So if you are not a Gemini, uh, Aquarius, or a Libra, this message is going to apply to your thinking. This is your spiritual and your mental thinking. This is the things that be on your mind, okay? And I'm pulling from the Rebel deck today because it's Mars Day, all right? So we're going to pull from the Rebel deck today. So ask your question and whatever your question is, please be known that the Rebel deck does not lie and it calls it as it is, okay? So for my wonderful, 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 wonderful um, air signs, okay? You got three messages popping off today with the Rebel deck, my wonderful uh, air signs, all right? Um, you got You're the Shit popping off from the rebel deck okay it's literally saying you're the shit don't forget it okay um for somebody they're saying you need to fucking apologize today just seriously go ahead and do it that's what they're saying okay somebody you need to know you the shit and somebody today needs to know you need to go apologize okay and the last one for my wonderful um air energy is um, be fucking grateful today shit could be a lot worse okay be grateful shit could be a lot worse so if you are not an ear sign but you're tapping into the ear element those are three messages that are popping off today so go on and grab which one applies to you okay go on and grab which one applies to you all right my loves now we're going to hop on over to the wonderful water energy water energy is going to be scorpio water energy is also going to be oops Pisces and water energy is then going to be Cancer's energy. So if you're not a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, this is all about feelings, emotions, okay? So the first message is, it's not everyone else's fault. It's your fault, okay? You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit, okay? Pisces, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't mean to be calling Pisces out, but <laughs> the message is Pisces. You could be dealing with somebody, right? But you listen, okay? That's what it said. I, that is not me. That is what the card says, okay? It is not everybody else's fault, honey. All right, it is you, okay? You need to work on you, all right? All right. So the next message is stop fucking whining. I swear, I'm, it's not me. Like if you are tuning in via the podcast that I'm holding the cards up so people could know it's not me. Okay. It says stop fucking whining. Okay. No one wants to listen to that shit. Okay. Complaining makes you weak. All right. You have the strength to change the world. So do it. All right. That's the message right there. All right. The last message for the wonderful water signs is believe what you see, honey. Face reality or live in fucking La La Land, but choose bravely. That's the message today, okay? All right. And so now we're going to jump on over to the wonderful, wonderful fire energy, which is going to be Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, okay? If you are not a fire sign, my love, you can apply this message to places in your life that you may need to take action, where movement might be required, or also passionate or lustful energy, not to mention intuitive energy also, okay? All right, so for my wonderful, wonderful fire energy, your message is time to let go. Move the fuck on. That's what it says. Time to let go. Okay. All right. The next message is take a fucking trip. Somebody needs to take a trip. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people. Cooler than you. <laughs> That's what it says. I promise. That's what it says. Okay. All right. The last card is you equals tight ass. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks don't get laid. I promise you. 
not my words this is why i love this deck y'all not my words okay all right last but not least the wonderful wonderful earth energy if you are an earth sign this is going to be capricorns taurus or the wonderful virgos if you're not a capricorn a taurus or a virgo you're going to apply this energy right to the physical things the bills the house the car the rep the responsibility that dwells there in okay so your message from the rebel deck today is love get some give some and it will cheer your ass up that's the message y'all love get some give some and it will cheer your ass up okay the next message is fuck fear it will lie to you in your face honey okay all right you can grab that message too and the last message is some of you may need a good fucking cry you're saying okay get the ugly cry on let that shit go your soul will thank you that's what the message is all right hopefully i hope these messages <laughs> touch someone or gave some advice to someone i love this rebel deck I love this Rebel deck. I love, love, love this Rebel deck. All right, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in tomorrow's Daily Vibration. Don't forget, okay, um, I'm back here tomorrow in the Daily Vibration. Not to mention my lovelies, okay? We also have the Karma Reading coming up on the 23rd of next month. I have the um, the Seven Homeic Pr Principles Kabbalion Lecture coming up this Wednesday, the 27th. So make sure y'all check that out, okay? Um, my apologies that you did not get a video on Instagram yesterday. I had to actually record this video on my phone because it was not working on the computer and <laughs> okay all right peace love and light to each and every one of you remember out of darkness comes enlightenment okay enlightenment so do something kind for yourself love yourself honor yourself and i'm gonna see y'all in tomorrow's daily vibration have a wonderful day guys bye